Is that my phone? I was sound asleep. Well, surely she called me again. She want this late. Maybe we should call again tomorrow. I gotta go. In the hospital, huh? Should be abandoned or else it's got terrible upkeep. It's with him in these creepy places. Should I get up? Should I go in? Why not? What else can you do? Let's see. There's a map on that mission building. Oh gosh. <sighs> that operational the elevator needs to be stopped at floor four. Four chairs. Come here. Can you be in the lockers? Nothing. 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 Locked. Dang it. Wonder if there's anything inside. Simple lock, so maybe I could get it open without the key. Nothing. Mm. Anything in the box. So it's lost and found. Cool. Anything in there that I want? Nope. Okay. Copy. Comment. Key box locked with a passcode. Wait. Oh. <laughs> that was easy. Got the cafeteria key and an elevator trunk key. Oh, now no, I'm going. What's this? Our nurse calls lights. Okay. Cafeteria and elevators. So for four and. Where's the cafeteria? Dining room, maybe? Second and fourth floor, maybe? Door to the outpatient clinic, it has a number lock. Uh, is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. No, the place is abandoned. Great, gotta find batteries too. Right, so this should be the second floor. Things it over. Things it over. Cafeteria. Okay. Three dishes. Dirty teacup, empty cans. Is there any reason for me to be in here? Uh, can is running on the ground. Something fell out. Got a small wire. Oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> what the hell am I gonna do with the call of small wire? Uh, dang it! I just said that. Yeah, hand it over. Hand it over. Paint it over. Paint it over. There's blood in there. I don't think I want to go in there. That operation. Four, four. This is. Two, three. Yeah. Oh, great. There's dark red writing on the bed, like big blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? Anything else in there? I'll say it now. I guess not. Two, two, two. Hands it over. Two, one. Hands it over. Alright. Next floor. Hands it over. Hands it over. Deering. It's open. Magazine rack. The latest ones are 10 years old. Ten years. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I should not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin not to his nest again, I should not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. Emily's poem. Hmm. Forever suspense. Is there anything here besides the book? 
I guess not. Okay. It's over. It's over. Cat. <sighs> Dead cat. Stomach has been cut open. The poor thing. Can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, sorry. Got a body key. Great. Uh, body key for what? Stand with the cap blood. Can't read the tag. Is there, is there a sink anywhere? I don't know there being a sink anywhere. Paint it over. Paint it over. Yep. Paint it over. I'm pretty sure I paint it over. Paint it over. Please. You don't go in one room. Oh, what the heck is that? Some kind of dry fluid. Might be vomit. Hello. Solitary chair. Find a notebook scrap. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I can only watch my family scream. Still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt he was here. But he's still here now? I don't know. Gale's over. So this is again. Council of the Gunner. The Blocked. Wire. I'm gonna go with the wire. I forgot about that wire. Put it over. Put it over. Put it over. Look at you later. Put it over. 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 My very trunk is locked. Use the trunk key. Got an AED. What the heck is that? Say first an AED? Not a really external defibrillator. Oh, did it, can I take the battery? An automatic external defibrillator. The battery shows it is about half charge. Open the lid and took out the battery. Yeah, I got the battery. Oh, wait, I don't even know a passcode though. Hmm. Hello? Yes, my pen. Yes, no. Yes, yes, my pen. My name's Francis Barney. What's with this scene? Is there someone on this floor? Uh, I don't know. The door is open. Hmm? <laughs> I'm gonna do his voice. What are you doing here? Hmm? Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Hmm. Uh, um, are you mute, perhaps? Dad, it was singing. <laughs> Mama said not to talk to strangers. Ah, well then, I'll introduce myself. I'm David, 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Ooh, I like baseball too! Mama give me gloves, so I play every Saturday. Wow, oh, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy! Fluffy? That's your name? Yeah! Mama says my hair's fluffy like a towel. So fluffy. Let's see. Where's your mom, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know. Did you not come over there? Um, well, we were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama, and she wanted to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here to sing, but Mama hasn't come back. So you get lost. Is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to school, but you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something to have waited here all along. Great. Kid lost, lost late at night. There's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe we should take him there. 
Hey, Fluffy, it's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Hmm? Okay, let's go. No! Well, what's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fluffy! Maybe give chase, I guess. And again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the police anyway. I'll take him somewhere safe if I see him again. Is the kid here now? Where, where, where could he have gone? Uh, I, don't, I actually don't know where he could have gone. Apparently, I put the battery in here. The battery in the left of us. I don't remember any numbers. You guys, let's try to find Fluffy. I got a wire. What can I do with the wire? Oh, yeah, and I got a key, too. I forgot about that key. Small wire and a bloody key. Can you use the key? Oh, I left up the wire. Okay. Okay, to know about the number lock. Uh. Four four eight nine. Four four eight. Yeah. Uh, staff room, director's room. Plea from the hospital to all mothers carrying babies. Please stop abandoning children from the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost this month alone. This map of the outpatient clinic. Uh, oh man. It's so lost. <laughs> Over the door won't open. Emergency patient transport, the door won't open. Men's bathroom. Wait, what? The lock is busted. The lock is busted. Right. Go down, I guess. Yeah, just to save myself some time. Come on, closet locked. Dark plate is faded and hard to read. Won't open. Okay. Oh, jeez. Cabinet is locked. Man. Something in the desk. Got the keys at the counseling room. I don't even remember that. That's it. Give me that number. Looks heavy. I don't want to be lucky in this round. Maybe I'll find somebody to use it though. Dang it. Cover machine. I don't think there's anything else here. So maybe there's two items in there. Yeah. Alright. Counseling room. What the heck is this? Diary photo room for the director. I received the puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing to open it. You have to arrange larger pieces to form a word. Of course, I'm with the keyword my favorite word, that irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say. In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable! When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. But what's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time. Got a scrap of paper with hints. Uh, great. Uh, hint paper. Flowers on ice. Wash your hands. When do you have lunch? Give me a call. Message no. Get close to the sky. Uh, let me see. Somewhere there's flowers. Somewhere I can wash my hands. Cafeteria. Phone. Nurse's office. And the roof. I guess. I don't know. Uh, a wooden box. There are six invitations on top. Uh, I should get all six pieces first. Otherwise, I don't know how to arrange them. Good. Drawers empty. Lock safe. Only a few books here. The Way of a Modern Family. Family medicine. All these flowers here seem to be artificial. Oh, there's something in the base. Piece. Sweet. Okay, so that one's. Right a Y piece. Sounds done with. Now, what about the other ones? 
Uh, wash your hands. I wash my hands. What was the kid that I got? Counseling. Can I we go back there. If anything, I'll go back to see if there's anything in there. And then move forward. Because there's just too much new rooms in there. I should have checked which floor it was. <laughs> which floor was it? Uh, counseling room was the fourth floor. Right. Hello. Goodbye. I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? Mental, mental health. Mental health. Broken old refrigerator. Casting schedules. Casting schedules. Empty. Empty. Uh, there's a loan diary. December 3rd, 3.35 p.m. to 15, subject visitor A, guarantor for relative in room 410. Contents, so visited, I've, I've visited after sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness, surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy, which causes A, a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. A sought counseling on how to cope. Patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. 2.10, May 20 a.m., tape 16, subject visit A, guarantor for relative room 413. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in himself is not happy. So if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish she would come back here, but unfortunately, I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. There's a key in the diary, got the psychiatric key. Oh gosh, I don't even remember that, where that's at. Uh... I'm gonna get so lost. Just make sure I was in there. Nope. Okay. Let's see, can I check? Let's look at the bloody key too. Uh, this one. Psychiatry was on the fourth floor. Great. <laughs> Man. Right. Men's bathroom is locked. It's busted. Let me guess. Busted lock? Dang it. Yeah, busted lock. Pediatrics. Yeah, yeah, oh, what's up, Fluffy? <laughs> I did not expect to see you here. There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the duck fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. Wow, you sure do seem very fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're, so, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark. Here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here I could depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? Wow, what a relief. Thanks. It's so much safer with you here, Fluffy. Hehe, <laughs> I protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, share us off as it is. I'm not. So is there anything here? The trash can, what do we got? What is it? What is that? Various medical comment. What's this stuff? I don't really know either. Hmm. Uh, 
a stethoscope. It's a thing the doctor uses. I want one. Can I have it? Um, it's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. Uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> um, I yeah, busted. Paint it over. Paint it over. Throw one open. Oh, man. It's I think it's supposed to be on the board, but they're too messy to read. No, I don't know about it. I'm not looking for anything shiny. I must have to go out there here. I think it's gonna, it's gonna suck. Yeah, too messy to read. Stairs key, I'll sprint it over. Alright, let's go, Buffy. Let's see where to go, where to go. Let's go more up. It would. Wait, is this telephone? Telephone, there's something in the change slot. Cool. Found a piece. Two down. Four to go. Cool. Some of the faucets work. I'm really thirsty. Can I have a drink? No way. This water's no good. Uh, some of uh, uh, mm. Can I clean the. The key? Nope, okay. It's pure yellow and smells foul. Stinky! Yeah, it reeks. Okay. Uh, what's this? The wall slightly damaged, there are fragments of concrete on the ground. Hmm. Some of the faucets work. Hey, there's something over there. Huh? Hey, you're right. Something is stuck in the drain. Got an eight piece. Alright. Mr. David, I gotta go pee. Huh? Okay, I guess this is the girls' room, so you should technically go to the boys' one. Not sure if it'll flush, though. Okay. Okay, I would here. You can go by yourself, right? Yeah, I'll be good. Hey Fluffy, you okay in there? I'm peeing! Hold on! Uh oh. Huh? What is the Fluffy? I'm not already. I can't open the door! What? Crap. It really won't open. Did the door just break or what? Uh oh. Mr. David, I can't get out. Am I going to be stuck here forever? It's okay, Fluffy. I'll get you out right away. Just give me a second. Uh, 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 what can I do? Uh, there's a, there's nothing, right? What can I do with this? Hey, maybe i break this wall some more. Do I have anything I can use? There's a hammer. Where's the hammer at? It's hammer time! Uh, where's the hammer? There isn't any right. Hammer. Hammer. I bet I can break the wall with this. Got a hammer. Give me the hammer. Oh, shoot. Fluffy! What's that? All right, if I use the hammer here, I should be able to get through. Do I, do I need to actually need to put in the hammer? Really? Really? You make me do this? Buffy, get away from the wall. I'm going to break through. Buffy, hey, what's wrong? What happened? No! No! Don't come near me! I'm scared! Fluffy, it's okay, it's me, David! Mr. David? <coughs> Fluffy, are you okay? Are you hurt? Seriously, what happened? What? I, I, I was waiting for you, Mr. David! 
and then it turned around and there was a guy there and he he tried to get me oh man fluffy what was it like his neck was all limp and he was grinning he looked at me and said found you i was so scared i hid in here man with a crooked neck it's him so he followed me here too damn it why fluffy not me I was scared. I was so scared. It's okay now, Fluffy. You did good for yourself. I'm proud of you. If he's here, and I can't let Fluffy stay here, I have to take him to the police. Fluffy, shouldn't we go to Mr. Policeman? It's dark and dangerous around here. I'll take you there if you look. It'll be okay. No! I'm staying with Mr. David. I'm waiting for Mama. Fluffy, please don't be selfish. I'm sure your Mama went to the police too, so... No! Mama says to wait here. So I know she's going to come find me. And I'll wait for her because I'm tough. Fluffy. If I can't find him here soon, and if Fluffy's mom doesn't show, then I have to take him to the police. Fluffy sure won't let that, though. Won't like that, though. Boy, this is getting troublesome. Hope she just shows up soon. All right, Fluffy. We'll wait together a little longer, okay? Mom will come soon. I know it. So hey, don't cry. You're a big boy, right? D don't tell Mama that I cried. Mama hates when I cry. She gets mad. I won't tell a soul. That's a promise between men. Now let's go. Okay. Boy. What was I doing before? I think I was trying. Uh, what was I doing before? So my buzzer work, the words are cold. I... Dang it, I want to <laughs> What's that key for? I don't remember which one's over. It's over. What the heck is that? Spares, number of books. Model of an embryo. A baby? <laughs> Looks like a monkey. Well, babies are kind of like that. Alright, what do we got here? Small shells or something here. Got a small key for what? <laughs> Doesn't say. Let's see, what is that? Upstairs machine. Click! Beep, beep! Don't touch that thing, please. <laughs> Upstairs machine. Does this work? Hmm. No, there's no power. Okay. What I get? A small key. Not sure where you sat. You gotta be a pain. And then print it over. I'm open. What the heck is this? An examination table? Okay. Go comment. Comment. I actually forgot what the clues were. Next one is, uh, I gotta go to the cafeteria. Go to that later. Oh yeah, what is this? I should always put on the whiteboard. Okay. Are these all the same rooms? They're all the same rooms, aren't they? Then again, they should have the same rooms. <sighs> Door locked with a three-digit code. Seems at least to the mercy stairs. Great. Um, last four. Lock is busted. Oops. That lock's busted. Found the book scrap. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness. But for me, it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self. Back when I was pure, I still thought everyone loved me. Boy. Paint it over. Paint it over. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot this is my destination. Oh. There's a memo on the bulletin board. Ah, oh, come on. Bed, trash, board. I don't even know what that I'm looking for. <laughs> What's this? Somebody doodling? Hmm. 
What's this depicting? What are these numbers for? Pretty sure this is for the three rooms in each floor. So second floor bed, third floor trash, fourth floor board. Uh, no refrigerator, dog machine, psychiatrist diary. <coughs> John Smith is dead. He hung himself. Was in the help at all, it seems. Okay. Took a look at this note under his feet, and it said this. He's chasing me. No matter where I go, I can't ever escape. So I've decided to die. But I realize it's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me right now. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for. But now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might start to follow you next. There's no point in running, because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the one who showed sympathy. Uh, man. I'm open since we're here. Might as well go here for the board. Where's the board? This board? Oh, this board? Uh, putting the papers. It's all to miss to read. Drop the papers. There's a number on the board. Six. Okay, six. Oh, it must be for the stairs. Let's head over. Six. Uh, <clears throat> trash. This one. Trash. Turn over. One. Something in the bottom. One, six. Alright, no, what's the last one? Bed, right? Bed. Bed. Look under. Seven. Seven, one, six. 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 Yeah. There's a huge pile of sandbags, so you can't go down. <coughs> Box, you can get out. Box, I'm sure. Thick wire holds the door handles tight. Not even pliers could cut this. I thought I have those. Hmm. What are you gonna do about this? You got me, man. Alright. Uh, I guess let's go to the cafeteria then. Uh... Oh, wait. <laughs> One more floor. There you go. Cafeteria. Where's the cafeteria again? Cafeteria was second floor. Cool. Uh, I don't even know where to look. Be in one of these things. Take up something in there. Oh, got no piece. Love it. F-A-L-Y. Think I'm missing two pieces? Give me a call. I didn't get that. So the nurses know and get close to the sky. The nurses know what? The nurses know. Luffy? I have no clue where to go. <laughs> where the heck do I go? He's like, I went ever, right? I don't remember. Space is too huge. Uh, can't read the tag. If I knew this one, I probably know where to go. I really don't remember. I'm gonna have to go through all these doors again. 
Wait, this is, this is this the room with the cat? Oh, it's not. It's the next room on top. I really don't remember. Must have missed something. What could I have missed? <clears throat> there was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots, and I like that song. I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life. All he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister. I'm sorry for singing a sad song. Eh, no, it just remind me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah! Mama likes to sing, too! It's fun to sing with her! Do you sing, too, David? Ha, <laughs> nah, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. That was a bit random. Am I in the right place? Slots. Uh, uh. Dang it. What the heck? This that was random. What? Alright, that was completely random. Why did he do that? I'm lost now. Uh, I have no clue what to do. Wait, what's this again? Maybe the small key will work. Oh, I forgot about the small key. Try it. Try it! With the cabinet. Got the keys to the chemical closet. What? Where's the chemical closet? Chemical closet is in the basement. Oh. Well then. Unlock the door. I got the chance of that. <laughs> It's a diary. That newbie Steve made a fine mess. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. Some of that stuff could eat through iron. You better pay me back for this. Hydrogen bromide. What about iron, huh? Maybe to work on that door on the, to the rooftop. Let's go find some hydrogen. <laughs> oh, cute. Uh, start from the back. So you get the dogs, it's a little mercury, even I know these names. Oh, here we go. Well, that was fast. Hydrogen bromide. Have to be careful with this. We found the Heidi! Got the bottle of HBR. Well, that was fast. Save. Thank you. Alright. Time to go to the roof. Time to go to the roof. What was it there for? I think so. <laughs> dang, dang, you fluffy. Mm, best of my triple mind will take care of the wire. Fluffy, stand back. This could be dangerous. Okay. Hey, it's working. This is kind of fun. Reminds me of a science experiment. Whoosh. Wire melted in the dark and now be opened. Yay! We're outside! Fluffy. Hey, Fluffy! Don't run around, you'll fall. I can't see Mama from here. She must still be looking for that thing she lost. Hope she comes finds me soon. She'll be here soon, I'm sure. You sure love your Mama, huh, Fluffy? <coughs> yeah! Mama's the best! You like your Mama, Mr. David? Yeah, gotta love my mama. I mean, my mother. Family is important. My mama's nice, but she's scary when she's mad. 
Is your mama nice? I'm home. Are you feeling better, mom? Did you go to the hospital? Welcome home, Davy. It's just a cold. Don't blow it out of proportion. You feel a lot better after getting some rest. There's really no good side up to being feeble. I'm sorry to always be causing you trouble. Don't worry about it. We're just a family of two. Of course we have to help each other. Oh, you're so kind. Say, how's it going with Shirley? She hasn't come by here lately. We haven't met much before because of work. Though I'd like to talk with her more about the future and all that. She must be anxious. It's a big event in a woman's life. Make sure to support her, will you? Are you sure you're not in pain, Mom? You don't look very well. Get some sleep. I can make my own meals. I'm glad to have such a kind son. Thank you, Davy. Yes, she's very kind. She always cared about me. <clears throat> <laughs> you better get home soon then, Mr. David. Your mama must be really worried. I suppose you're right. Same reason with why yours will show up soon. So just wait with me until then. Yeah! Old newspaper. Psychiatrist at local hospital commits suicide. Early this morning, a doctor employed at the General Hospital was found dead by a nurse from the same hospital. He was hanged, so police are deeming it a suicide. Oh, well then. I didn't mean to go in there. Can't do anything with that. There's a ladder. Seems you can climb up. Go up! <clears throat> Something here. Got an end piece. Well, one more to go, but I have no clue what that clue means. The nurses know. What does that mean? The nurses know. The nurses know. The nurses know. The nurses know. Is there a nurse's office? I don't remember. I don't like that sound. Can I just leave? What's that sound? What's the sound is for? Dang it! Uh, I think it's in this room. Yeah, nope. This room? Oh, gosh. Hmm? What is he doing? <laughs> Eek! Is it? Is it even the embryo model? Ah, oh, shoot. God! Mr. David! No! No! Stay away! Ah! Buffy, gotta chase that monster. Ah, uh, my head. I'm bleeding. I'm so dizzy. Great. How much health? 50. Oh, man. Man. Man, man, man. Uh, where could they be? Good thing. <sighs> Down. Sculptures first, just in case. Yep, they are. Fluffy! <laughs> no! I don't wanna! Stay away! Stay away! I have to do something about that thing. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> what the hell did I do? <laughs> okay. Gosh, that was mean. I had 15 seconds. How did it go to zero like nothing? Are you sure? Can I just... oh, use this? It can stop monster. Get away from Fluffy! Mr. David! Mr. David! 
Fluffy, you're not hurt? Nope, I'm fine. I'm sorry, Mr. David. It, it was my fault that you, you got hurt, Mr. David. It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't do anything. Raw. Mr. David! It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner. Mr. David! Did I pass out? Uh, head still hurts. Stupid monster. Mr. David! Are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? Nope. I'll be fine too. Sorry for warning you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy? Fluffy. I, I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Fluffy. So you go to the police. I'm sure your mother's there, so. I, I told mama I'd wait. Mama said she would be proud of me. So I'll, I'll wait for her. Mama wouldn't lie. She's going to come for me, so I have to wait here. He really should be with the police, but he just won't listen. If I try to force him, he'll just run. I'll give it a little more time, then I'll force him to go if I have to. I do wonder what his mom's doing, though. Maybe there's some behind like this. I can't believe some people. Oh. Did she leave her kid here? What's that monster up to? He was chasing me before, but now he's just after Fluffy. I don't think you can possibly know. She needs to protect him from being attacked. Maybe we should find a weapon somewhere. I don't even know where that go. What is that, man? You're a good kid, Fluffy. Putting up with all this? Really great. I bet your mom was really glad. I'll tell you a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. No more monsters? I can't say. But I'll protect you if there are, so don't wander away from me, okay? Okay, I'll stay with you, mister. Okay, so nurse's office. Gosh, that took a while. I have to go, wait, I have to go all the way down. Uh, Is there a nurse's office anywhere? Oh. Is this the nurse's office? It's in the box. I kind of forgot about the box. Look inside. It was in the box. Three, six, normally, looks like it. All right, guys, gotta go back there. I don't even remember where that's where the room's at. Uh, uh, where was it? Where was it? I really don't remember. Uh, Oh, is it here? Yeah. Oh, cool. Right. 
Got the safe key. I'll have her a safe key. Lock safe. I want the safe. Got a revolver and pistol ammo. Wow. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so now what? No. Oh, I got this bloody key. What do I do with the bloody key? Ah, uh, bloody keys driving me bloody insane. What? Mr. David! M Monster! M Mr. David! Help! Kurt, this monster's persistent. Fluffy, over here! No, I'm scared of monsters! I don't wanna! I don't wanna! Buffy, get over here! Don't let that monster come near you! Ah! Fluffy! Gotta go out to Fluffy! Fluffy! Why would I get it? The only place I can think of is the roof. Please don't be at the roof. Please don't be in the roof. Please don't be in the roof. Please don't be in the roof. Oops. Dang, you're on the roof. Fluffy! No, 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 no! Stay away! Mr. David, help! Over here, Fluffy. Don't let it get near. Ah. ah! Run away! Mr. David, help! Damn it. Who really is that to Fluffy? Why? F Fluffy, listen. Don't let it get you. Run away. I'll take care of it. Uh, okay! Yeah, please. Thank you. <laughs> I have a bad feeling with this. It's very easy with the revolver and ammo. <sighs> this is the end. Don't come near Fluffy again, monster. Nah, he just disappeared. <laughs> Whew, I don't know how many times I shot it. Not even if it could survive that. Fluffy, I'm sorry you had to go through that, but it's all okay now. Fluffy, what's wrong? Are you hurt? Uh, why? Huh? Oh, I, it's so scary, but I, I keep hanging in there, and I, I just want to go home. So why won't Mama come? Does Mama hate me? Fluffy. Mama hates me. So she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true. It's not it. That's not you. You. I'm going to Mr. Policeman. I see. Okay. I'll go with you. I'm fine. I can go there myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own. What if Mama isn't there? You know mom isn't there, I won't cry. Wait! Uh, uh, my my head is gonna explode. F Fluffy! He left on his own? No, Fluffy. I didn't hate you. It was you. I lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know. I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing. Nothing will change.
Alrighty then. <sighs> well, this is a first. Because you got a choice. Uh, it's gonna be a long walk. There's so many stairs. My gosh, this took a long walk. <clears throat> Let's see. One more time, just in case. Uh, now what? What the? Sounds like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him. That's good. I must have passed Fluffy by. It's coming from the clinic side. Go check it out. Which side is the clinic side again? <laughs> this room? Uh, higher? This isn't where that voice came from. So she's in one of these rooms. No. No. Elevator? No. Is she downstairs? Who's that over there? <sighs> Another ghost. Hey, who are you? Huh? Mom? Davy, why do you abandon me? That's not. Mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family. Yet you abandoned me. No, you're sick, Mom. So... So you left me. My own family couldn't stand me anymore. No! No, you're wrong! Oh, boy. Who are you? I'm not gonna possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. Are you going to try and kill me again? What? It hurts so much, Davy. Okay, then. Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do with my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. Keep saying things like that. Dad left a long time ago, okay? Did you forget? Shut up! Intruder! I don't want anyone like you! I'll call the police on you! Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going to see now. Please, take a rest for today. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! You think I know you? Get out of here! Stop! What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did something wrong. Are you teasing me? Because it's not funny. Please, Mom. Quiet! I'm not your mother! I don't know you! Get out! Enough. Jesus. Get Murder! Somebody! Murder! David, hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop, let go! I'm trying to kill her! David! It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting significant pressure on the brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of brain disease. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in the family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner. 
back to the topic of your mother, she appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized her for the time being, and her condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be long. Please come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't seem to know you, she is family. No. We're not family anymore. Don't, don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped, just like that, I would have, would never have been forgiven for it. There really was hatred in me. And it's true I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family, my precious mother who cared for me. Then my father left and yet I, my wishes never come true. My dreams, love, even family all go away. Yo, Ari, I can't have anything that's not crooked. Wait, have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore. It's obvious now. There is only one way from the very beginning. Scene three, Central Hospital, Fluffy, end.